Yeah. So we will be starting with the fundamentals of computers. That is your first unit. And in that, we will be covering a brief history of computer science, uh, computers in general. So as we are discussing, what do you mean by actually, what do you mean by computer? You know, but uh, normally we say that it is a normal terminology. It's a single word, but actually it's an acronym of uh, few content. So if you uh, see it closely, it's commonly operated machine. So it's a machine which we normally use to do particular things are particularly used for technology, education, and research, right? So nowadays we have used it in a very day-to-day uh, -day life. So we are very much familiar and it becomes uh, very uh, unreminding to us, but actually it is a content which is used for technology and research and education purpose, right? So let's go to the, let's start our journey towards the history of this computer magnification machine. So we can classify this uh, history into broadly three, uh, three categories. One is manual, the second one is mechanical, and third is automated. Manual is when you have to do everything with your own hands. So there is a machine and that has to be made, uh, done, operated manually, right, with your own hands. Mechanical is, there is a machine which has to be operated with some mechanism behind it, right? There is some mechanism which is working behind it and automated is when you put in, you start the, start the content and the machine takes the, uh, takes the activities forward, fine. So let's discuss them one by one in detail. So as we have seen, the first uh, computer that we talk about is Abacus. You must have heard this name, Abacus, right? So it is, normally it is known as or considered to be the first computer which was invented in uh, 3000 bc that is before christ and it was invented by chinese and it used to have some metal beads and rods if you can see there is some rods in which there are some metal beads and they are divided by a bar so on top of the on top above the bar it is it, it depicts five and it multiples and below the bar it is depicting the number so usually in the starting of the calculation they don't have this decimal concept of decimals in the calculator but it was mainly used to speed up the calculation part addition and subtraction these were the two basic activities that were to be conducted during uh, early days and it was more to help those making those calculation faster, right? Now next came the Napier board. It was basically a tool which was designed by uh, John Napier, an English uh, scientist. It used to have nine different ivory, you know ivory? Ivory is the tusk of a elephant. So ivory strips and uh, bones were used to conduct, uh, to create this uh, uh, this machine, which used the decimal points for the first time. So in earlier, it was only the whole numbers. Now in this case, the decimal part was also included in the calculation, but it still does the addition and subtraction, right? And it was invented in 1550. So you can see after 3000 BC, Till 1550, so there was a long gap in between. So mostly in those days, people were learning to calculate and started using, mostly using the abacus formula. Right. Then came the Pascalian part. Now came the Pascalian. It was uh, designed by a French mathematician philosopher, Basil Pascal, who used a box, wooden box containing some series of gears and wheels. If you see in the uh, lower end of this uh, box, there are some gear-like or wheel-like structure. So if you start rotating the, the last end, it will show the numbers on the top and the way, the, uh, if you rotate in a certain way, the numbers will keep on increasing or decreasing. If you rotate on the right, it will increase the number. And if you rotate on the left, it will decrease the number. So in this way, it was used to add and subtract the content. Right. 
and it was built in 16 between 1642 and 44 so it again it took certain period of time almost an 100 years to develop from apier bone to pascaline so earlier evolution was bit slow you can see right in the same way computers have also evolved in their function as well as their looks computers today like the ones you see at home or at school are light compact and fast but this wasn't always the case when we talk about the history of computers we must start from the basic computing machines that people invented in order to help them with mathematical calculations the first of these is the abacus believed to be invented by the chinese around 3000 bc an abacus consists of a wooden frame along with beads the abacus can be used to perform basic mathematical operations like addition and subtraction In the year 1642, French mathematician Blaise Pascal invented Pascaline, regarded as the first calculator of the world. It was a mechanical calculator that could perform addition and subtraction. The first Pascaline could only handle five-digit numbers, but later Pascal developed six and eight-digit versions of the Pascaline. 